bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, there's no place that's more expensive to live that I can think of right now than Marin County and uh, the general area. People who are low income are definitely having a difficult time finding houses and apartments. And PEP housing is something that is helping people to get into apartments and give them some subsidies if they deserve it. And two folks here now are with PEP housing, uh, Mary Stomp, who's executive director. Nice to see you, Mary. Thank you. And Carrie Miller, director of fundraising. And how's the fundraising going? The fundraising is going pretty well. Uh -huh. um, this, the economy is a little slow, so we're yeah. hoping that our, our upcoming 30th anniversary celebration will really bring in those extra needed dollars to help the seniors. Okay, let's talk about the program a little bit now. Uh, Mary, what about the program? But pretty much, I would think, I sort of summed it up to a certain extent, building apartments and helping people get into them. Yes, we build and manage affordable housing for limited income seniors. Mm -hmm. and. Our apartments rent for an average rent of $336 a month, which is substantially less than market value. Yes. And uh, there's a huge need for senior house, affordable senior housing. Mm -hmm. And we meet that need by building and managing affordable housing. Generally speaking, people, as you point out, senior housing on Social Security, maybe a small retirement, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Exactly. Yes. yes. And what, what folks uh, that come to us, they may have had a a uh, spouse that got sick uh, and they lost their assets and they end up just living on Social Security and it's very difficult to get by without the help of an organization like PEP Housing. Absolutely, yeah. And how successful have you been in fundraising? Uh, we've been pretty successful. We are um, now building our 13th uh, apartment complex and so um, it's going really well and um, we've been in the neighbor in the area for 30 years mm -hmm. and so our celebration this year is not just a fundraising event but a real uh, celebration of how we serve the community. Okay, so well, 13 uh, housing developments, mm -hmm. that's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, and generally speaking, how many units would be in each development? Um, 30, I would say 30 to, to 60 units. 30 to 60 units. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's provided a lot of housing for people who wouldn't otherwise be able to afford it, I'm sure. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And are people still um, qualifying for this? In other words, you haven't filled everything, have you? No, we always have long waiting lists. Uh -huh. uh, the, actually, the number of uh, people that are going into that, you know, the, the golden years is, is ah, projected. Yes, the old <laughs> golden years. We Try not yeah. to think about that on this program. <laughs> <laughs> it's increasing by, you know, by 2020, it's going to be increase the numbers by 50%. And so there's going to be that additional need for senior housing. Uh -huh. So that's what we're trying to meet those needs. And how do you get the actual property? Because property, of course, is as valuable uh -huh. as what you're building on it or more so. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a housing development department um, that searches for property that's near services. Uh, we want to be located near services so that our seniors uh, have access to easy access okay, to services. About hospitals and yeah. th things and like that. And then we acquire the properties, we pay for the properties, we fundraise to purchase properties. So it d just like any other development, the only difference with us is that our rents are much, much lower. Yeah, okay. Um, let's mention right now that on the 18th of uh, September, mm -hmm. okay, you have an event coming up which will contribute to help people who need help. And where is that going to be? It's going to be at the Petaluma Veterans Memorial Building uh -huh. on the September 18th, like you mentioned. And it's going to feature uh, band members from Pablo Cruz, that hit 70s band. So it's uh -huh. going to be a really fun evening. Okay, and this is open, obviously, to the general public, mm -hmm. right? And is there going to be food? You said there's a, a dinner, right? Yes. A sit-down dinner. Sit-down dinner. I said dinner. to you, you yes. must sit down to eat. Yeah. You can't stand up. <laughs> and eat, you know. Can you can you uh, sit down, have dinner, and then dance? You have dancing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So at, we're going to have a dinner, and then we're going to have the dancing to Pablo Crows. And uh, during that that whole time, we'll have a silent auction that people can take advantage of too. So it's okay. a great way to raise some needed money to help support seniors. Okay. And housing. interestingly enough, I mean, as both of you know, these days uh, with the economy not doing so great, and there's so much competition uh, for funds. I hope you do very well with that. Thank okay, you. September 18th in Petaluma. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice to have you both here, Mary Stomp and Carrie Miller, and thank you for watching. Thank you.